We're joined by Ralph Block, longtime REIT investor and head of Essential REIT Publishing Company. Ralph, thanks for joining us. Thank you for inviting me over. What's your take on the uh, current state of play in the CMBS market? Well, I think we have uh, two different uh, audiences here. Uh, I think private real estate investors are still going to be very concerned about CMBS because that's really uh, a kind of a sword hanging over them in terms of being able to refinance their assets. But I think CMBS uh, and getting it unfrozen is not nearly as relevant to REITs today, particularly uh, versus six months ago, because REITs have been able to address most of their debt maturities outside of having to go to the CMBS market. Uh, they're finding that uh, there are a lot of lenders opening up, insurance companies, even banks. And now, of course, the unsecured debt market has opened up to them. So. I think the CMBS problems are not as uh, relevant to REITs as they were some time ago. And, and why do you think it is that uh, REITs have had an easier time going to their lenders for, to work out refinancing? I think uh, what's happened is, is that uh, the whole lending environment was uh, firmed up by the uh, TALF program and the uh, prospects that the federal government would stand by uh, a lot of financial institutions and not let things get worse. And as soon as that started happening, we started seeing spreads come down. And REITs have generally uh, been able to uh, own and manage reasonably well good quality properties. Now, in your writing, you've talked a lot about the um, black swans, so to speak, that have impacted the commercial real estate market. Um, do you think that? this has changed the way of doing business permanently or were these more of these um, kind of isolated events that that uh, we kind of take the black swans to be? That's a great question. I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, I think one of the things that REITs are taking into account as they plan their long-term business strategies is first to use less debt leverage. Uh, they have decided that maybe taking on a lot of debt to goose earnings has a significant downside because we never know when the next black swan is going to fly into town. Uh, perhaps another area where uh, they may be changing their business model is to be more uh, careful about uh, what I call non-rental uh, non revenue generating properties. Uh, they will get into and continue to do uh, non-pure real estate businesses but I think they're going to be a lot more careful about it. Uh, maybe simply do uh, uh, business where they can really provide a competitive edge. Uh, I think the asset management model where they form joint ventures with uh, investing institutions is still going to be a good business over time. And I think development uh, will still be a pretty good business, not in the near term. Uh, but I think REITs will be a lot more careful about their development scope. For more information on this and other REIT news and analysis, check out REIT.com.